Bonfire and Bourbon is a small Swiss company focused on grooming products for men and women. Their products give a luxurious experience accompanied by the woody scents such as firewood, cedar, and bergamot honey. And now Bonfire and Bourbon is offering an exclusive discount to my listeners, 20% off if you go to their website, bonfireandbourbon.com and use code HOLLYBB20. They ship anywhere in the world, so make sure you treat yourself to their amazing products. That's code HOLLYBB20 at bonfireandbourbon.com. Did you say that you came in the industry when you were 28? Is that 21? I did my very first scene on my 21st birthday. Um, It was for seehersquirt.com. Okay. And I show up on set and, you know, it was just got my makeup done and then did pretty girl pictures, which of course I love that. That's Mm -hmm. literally my favorite part. And I was doing photo shoots and stuff like that before I got into the industry. So it was just second nature. It was Mm -hmm. just, I loved it. And then, so we're getting ready for the scene. It was with Joey Ray. He recently just passed away. I don't know if you saw that. And um, Joey and I were friends before that. We were actually talking on MySpace. (laughs) So we kind of knew each other. And um it comes down in the director, Derek Dozier. He was like, Hey, it's for a see her squirt. And I was like, um, I don't know how to squirt. <laughs> I was like, maybe my agent booked me on the wrong shoot. And he was like, Oh no, no, no. Like we fake it. And I was like, well, how do you fake it? And they were like, well, we just fill up a douche bottle with warm water. You pump it in you, hold it. And then we'll put his dick right there and you just push it out. And I was like, Oh, well I can do this. And, um, so it was pretty cool. I just, I was very eager to get on set. And like, whenever I see that scene, I'm like, Oh, Like, Mm -hmm. because I didn't know how to open up to the camera. I just knew that I wanted to get glammed up, take pretty pictures and get paid to have sex with hot men. I didn't know Mm -hmm. how much money we made. I didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a roundabout idea, but I didn't know much. I just knew that's what I wanted to do at that time in my life. And, um, and then here I am 16 years later. So (laughs) it's funny that you mentioned the thing about squirting because like I, again, like It's funny because I've been in the industry for so long, but there's a lot of kinds of scenes that I haven't shot or I've shot very little of. Yeah. It's funny because I was, Leia was here before you and I was telling her how I've shot like maybe two cream pie scenes like my entire career. Oh, wow. Like didn't, I didn't really know like how to shoot them to make sure that you saw the cream pie and like do you fake it and stuff like that. And I actually called Quasar to ask him how to do that. How do you do this? (laughs) Like how do I make sure that like, you know, every, like we see it and, And squirting was another thing that I haven't really shot that much of. And I didn't realize until like, I mean, I guess I did realize, but I don't know why it never occurred to me until like recently. Yeah, you can just fake the squirting. Yeah. Like if the squirting didn't happen in the scene and be like, well, the squirting didn't happen in the scene. So you didn't get your squirting scene. Like not realizing that I could just fake it like everybody else does and stick the douche up and squirt the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and we did that. And um, it. I mean, I guess it worked. Like- I, I think it was like it started from my very first scene. And then um, then I shot for Evil Angel. I can't remember the name Super Squirters or something. But it was when Evil Angel, when everything was going down with the obscenity and all that. And oh, right. that scene was played in front of a federal grand jury. <gasps> my scene with Angela Stone, I believe. Wow. She's super old school. I mean, this was going back to like 2007. Like, I remember like Kevin Moore was like the PA at the time for Evil Angel. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And I mean, I just remember her just chugging water that day. So I was like, oh, I know what's going on. <laughs> so, okay. So they played that that video trying to say that basically your squirting scene was obscene. It, obscene because it was considered pissing. Right. Yeah. Which... I don't know the outcome. I can't remember exactly what the outcome of that one was, but that's all I remember is that was played in front of a federal grand jury. I was like, oh, awesome. Wow. (laughs) Yeah, hope they liked it. (laughs) Hope they liked it. I wonder how many new fans you got from that. Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) I was like... Michelle Ryan. Yeah, let me jot this name down. Sadly, OnlyFans wasn't around at that time. Oh my gosh, I wish. (laughs) I wish. Can you imagine getting that DM? So I saw your video in a courtroom today. (laughs) And um, I just thought, you know, you're such a great squirter. (laughs) That'd be amazing. It's funny, actually, that it was brought up for like the pissing thing because there's so much debate in the industry about whether or not squirting is squirting or if it's pissing. Right. But like, surprise, guys, usually it's water that we put in a douche and stuck up their vagina. There's your answer. (laughs) Chugging gallons of these. (laughs) So, would you say it's probably most of the time squirt? 
I mean, sorry, piss. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. hundred percent. Yeah. I think like when you, I mean, I know that there's natural squirting. I know there is natural squirting because I have naturally done it, but it's so little. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's very, very it's not little. It's shooting across It's the not freaking gushing. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you know, like, um, like everything else, porn is, you know, uh, it's a fantasy. It's hundred percent. Bigger than life. Yep. hundred percent. Bonfire and Bourbon is a small Swiss company focused on grooming products for men and women. Their products give a luxurious experience, accompanied by the woody scents such as firewood, cedar, and bergamot honey. And now Bonfire and Bourbon is offering an exclusive discount to my listeners, 20% off if you go to their website, bonfireandbourbon.com, and use code HOLLYBB20. They ship anywhere in the world, so make sure you treat yourself to their amazing products. That's code HOLLYBB20 at bonfireandbourbon.com. 